The SpaceX Starship is the largest and most powerful flying machine ever built. This combination of powerful rocket and spacecraft will transform humanity into a multi-planetary species. But how did it come about? What drives Elon Musk and his team to develop this epic rocket? We unravel the mystery and reveal the real reason behind the construction of the Starship. Stay tuned and join us as we dive into the future of space travel. One man, one vision, one path. The latest rocket system of the U.S. space company SpaceX is considered the largest and most powerful in the history of mankind. In the near future, the Starship will open the way to space for mankind. The first manned flights to the moon will begin, soon to be followed by the colonization of Mars. If SpaceX CEO Elon Musk has his way, the first people will be living on Mars in 10 years possibly providing the basis for the settlement of many thousands or millions of people as pioneers. The first successful Starship launch took place on April 20th, 2023, and ended after about four minutes in an explosion. But Elon Musk is used to setbacks. He knows that technical failure and launch difficulties are part and parcel of his business, and that's why he doesn't give up. Now let's take a look at why this man actually came up with the idea of building rockets and launching the first private space company. Well, the answer for that is actually quite simple. Elon didn't have enough money to buy two rockets. His plan in the early 2000s was this. Elon Musk wanted to send a kind of greenhouse to Mars as a fully automated unit. Thousands of seeds were to fly to Mars in a glassed-in greenhouse dome. Musk wanted to integrate soil irrigation, ventilation, and all other components into the module and control the greenhouse from Earth. In a vision, he had seen greenery growing against the red and dusty background of Mars. Plants growing and people understanding that Mars is not dead. All that's needed is to restore life there a bit, and Mars could become an alternate home for the ever-growing human race. Musk wanted to put his plans into action. He had just added about $134 million to his pocket through the sale of PayPal, and then he experienced a bust. Even the cheapest launch vehicle, a Boeing Delta II rocket, cost $65 million per flight at the time. But Musk knew he had to have enough money for two missions in case one failed. The search for a low-cost rocket drove the visionary all the way to Russia. There, he negotiated with the military and government to buy two denuclearized intercontinental ballistic missiles. But the Russians played a nasty game with the multimillionaire, and Musk left in frustration after a few weeks. By then, Musk realized that spaceflight had reached an impasse for a good reason. The practice had simply become too difficult and too expensive. In a 2014 interview with Khan Academy, Musk said, I thought at first there wasn't enough will, but there was enough will and then there's a way. So I decided, okay, I need to work on that path. That was the beginning of SpaceX. Just a year after the failed negotiations with the Russians, SpaceX was founded. The first project was the Falcon 1, a small rocket that served as a low-cost means to launch satellites into space. In March 2006, the first rocket was launched, and although this flight was not successful, Elon Musk did not give up. In 2008, the first Falcon 1 reached Earth orbit. This made SpaceX the first private company to launch a missile capable of carrying a payload into space. This success was a milestone for the company and ushered in an era of growth and innovation for SpaceX. By 2010, SpaceX had launched the Falcon 9, a much larger and more powerful rocket capable of carrying not only satellites, but far heavier loads into space. In May 2012, SpaceX's first Dragon capsule successfully reached the International Space Station. After the end of NASA's space shuttles, SpaceX was suddenly the only company that could carry heavy payloads, as well as people to the ISS. For Elon Musk, the dollars were rolling in, and with the money he was able to keep moving forward on this new path of space travel and finance innovative projects. The space pioneer launched his next coup with the development of reusable rockets. On December 2015, SpaceX succeeded for the first time in landing the first stage of the Falcon 9 after a launch. This saved SpaceX millions of dollars on each rocket stout. With the Falcons, SpaceX not only launched rockets in record time that are the most effective and also the cheapest in the world, 
but also ushered in the eco-age and space travel along the way. But Musk's goal was still to build a rocket and a spaceship that would fly to Mars. The vision had since changed. Elon Musk had caught space fever. His plans had long since moved beyond just putting a greenhouse on Mars. Musk is sending the gardeners, scientists, and first settlers to Mars at the same time. The Starship Will Change the World The first models of the Starship were presented to the public on September 28, 2019, at the event in Boca Chica, Texas. Elon Musk personally showed the plans for rocket system that he himself called Big Fucking Rocket. Later, this name became Big Falcon Rocket, and finally, the Starship. At 122 meters high and 12 meters wide, the Starship resembles a skyscraper. The largest rocket ever built by humans, it trails NASA's high-powered Saturn V by about 10 meters. Even NASA's SLS rocket, which would not be launched until November 2022, cannot keep up. This giant is launched into space by the power of 42 methane-burning Raptor engines and a total of 13,000 metric tons of thrust. Thanks to the innovative propulsion technology, the Starship shoots through the Earth's atmosphere at seven times the speed of sound. In low Earth orbit, the actual space capsule separates from the engines, which return to Earth for reuse. For landing on Mars, the spacecraft is equipped with an automatic air braking system, and the rest is taken care of by the three sea-level Raptor engines, which slow the vehicle down so slowly that it gently touches down on the ground on its fold-out legs. For a long time, it was considered impossible to have a spacecraft of this size travel back from Mars on its own. That would require refueling and a rocket launch. But for Musk, that's not a problem either. The infrastructure needed for fueling and a launch pad will arrive with or before the first humans on Mars. The first tasks of the researchers and astronauts on site would be to harness the available resources. Fuel and water can easily be obtained from the existing raw materials on site. Economical through reuse. This undertaking, which is unique in the history of mankind, will become financially viable specifically through the reusability of the components. The propulsion units returning to Earth can perform 1,000 launches, the remaining tank units are designed for 100 missions, and a single starship is expected to be in service for at least 25 years, completing at least 12 flights to Mars and back. Factoring in reuse rates, fuel costs, and maintenance between flights, the total price per Mars flight would fall to $62 million. So, Elon Musk has made space travel much more profitable. In 2001, the man who has since become a multi-billionaire would have paid nearly the same price for a single rocket launch. And Musk's epic dreams of a lonely greenhouse on Mars have turned into a plan for human colonization of the planet, Mars houses, research facilities, and a functioning transportation system. From Methane to Mars In addition to sheer size, the Starship's propulsion technology makes it an absolute first. The super-heavy 33 Raptor V2 engines are fueled by a mixture of liquid methane and oxygen. The substance, also known as methalox, is so far unique in space travel and is of course based on raw materials that are also present on Mars and, for that matter, on every other planet or moon in the solar system. The Starship could thus, in extended missions someday, also land on Earth-like moons such as Titan. The engine system is based on what is known as full-flow stage combustion, a two-stage combustion process that provides not only greater fuel efficiency, but also more thrust. Should a Starship ever run out of fuel in space, it can also be refueled from outside while en route. Elon Musk's plans are far from being limited to being the first to Mars or getting people there at all costs. Safety, sustainability, and effectiveness are constantly factored in and implemented at SpaceX. Explosion after four minutes. In May 2023, Elon Musk announced the successful test of the Raptor V3 engine, which at 269 tons of power is a full 18% more powerful than its V2 predecessor. The docked spacecraft will also be fueled by the Raptor engines after undocking. Three units of engines will return to Earth, and six more will propel the Starship on its journey through space. 
the super heavy boosters are received back by two pivoting arms after separation from the launch tower. This technology is considered futuristic and is so far unique in the world. Already, the Falcon 9 boosters return to Earth virtually intact instead of landing as scrap somewhere in the oceans. But the Starship manages without landing feet at all, thanks to the support arms. After a successful landing and a small check, the Starship booster can be refueled directly and bring the next Starship towards orbit. On April 20th, 2023, the Starship lifted off for the first time and shot towards Earth orbit at speeds of up to 2,150 kilometers per hour. At an altitude of 39 kilometers, the Starship began to tumble before the two stages separated. For safety reasons, the ground crew had to remotely detonate the first Starship just under four minutes after launch. SpaceX does not consider the launch and the blastoff to be a complete failure because the problems provided the rocket's developers with valuable insights that will help improve and perfect the rocket. But the blast wasn't the only problem. The Raptor engines tore such a large crater in the launch pad's concrete that extensive renovation work was necessary. Surrounding buildings were damaged by the force of the engines, and in the town of Port Isabel, 10 kilometers away, the earth shook and some windows broke. As expected, the launch was followed by complaints from some major environmental groups. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, initiated investigations and initially grounded the Starship. However, since Musk has theoretically already received approval for the Starship, these circumstances are mere formalities, and it's only a matter of time before the next Starship completes a successful maiden flight. The initial plan is to circumnavigate the Earth and land the spacecraft in the Pacific Ocean off Hawaii. The next flight will most likely visit the Moon, and then the first humans will soon travel to the Moon and Mars aboard the Starship.